Today we're going to talk about two channel, three channel, four channel, and six channel helicopters. Two channel is something I do not suggest buying. Three channel is something I do not suggest buying. With a two channel, you have control of moving the helicopter up and down and spinning the tail. You do not have full control over the helicopter at all. You only have very limited control. I do not like that. On a two channel, the helicopter is usually made to slowly move forward constantly, and then all you can do is control how high the helicopter is in the air, and you can spin the tail to make it fly around the room, but it's constantly moving forwards on you. I don't like that at all. Next, you have a three channel. The three channel, you have control of moving the helicopter up and down, spinning the tail, and you also have forwards and backwards control, which is better, but still it's not full control over your helicopter. One major problem I see with two channel and three channel helicopters is the fact that the stick arrangement may be different from the standard setup once you get into a real helicopter. A lot of the times the sticks are going to be doing different things than they would do on my radio here. A radio is the controller for your helicopter. Two and three channels usually have the sticks doing different things that they should not be. And once you move to a six channel helicopter, or even a full four channel that's set up correctly, you're going to have to relearn the fly again because the sticks are doing different things. So I do not suggest a two or three channel. With a four channel helicopter, you have control of up down, spin the tail left and right. You can move the helicopter forwards and backwards and you can also move the helicopter to the left and right. Four channel is the least I would buy. Usually you only have four channels with the micro helicopters, coaxials, the little toys. Um, to start off with a four channel if you're brand new. It's probably not a bad idea, but I would not suggest the two or three channels. They're just no good. And if you're buying a four channel, you're going to want to make sure the sticks are doing what the sticks are configured the same as they would be when you start to fly the big helicopters. I will get into that in the next video. With a six channel helicopter, you have a lot more options. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but with a six channel helicopter, you have full control of everything. You usually have your programmable radio. Sometimes with the four channels, you still can program your radio. Some of them come with those, some of them don't. And we'll get into that later. So I'd suggest a four channel at the least, especially when you're starting off with the small ones. When you get into a big helicopter, especially the collective pitches, they're usually always a six channel helicopter. You'll never see a four channel collective pitch helicopter that's any good. You'll never see a two or three channel collective pitch helicopter that's any good. So I'll end the video with that. The next video is going to be on the controller and what the sticks do and how they move the helicopter.